Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home, and I wanted to share a quick tip for you on something you can use this clear cardstock for. This is by Heartfelt Creations, and I have the 8.5 by 11 pack. It also comes in 12 by 12, and this is very thick. It is unlike transparency paper that you can get from the office supply store in the fact how much thicker it is. Transparency is very, very thin. So I have a Smashbook binder here, and it comes with little tabs, little um, plastic pieces that you can put throughout the book. But I wanted to show you um, something similar to maybe like the Heidi Swap ones, where you can add your own design. So I'm looking for, let's see here. Let me open it to this, and here I have some foil cardstock. Lots of different places uh, sell foil, and they do sell some at Cut at Home. I will put a link in the description box for that. But here is what I got. I got this from the dollar store, and it's called Poster Board, and it's very thick. It comes with several colors. I think it comes with. Um, blue, red, and silver, and then this gold. So I cut down several pieces in one half inch increments, and I'm going to place it as a clear piece in the center of my book, like you may have seen uh, Heidi Swap has some, and several companies have some out. So I'm just going to adhere them. I'm going to adhere them diagonally. And I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm going to cut this one off. I won't worry about cutting them off just yet each time, but I added enough tape that I want to be able to use the tape. So now I'm going to use another one that I have cut as a guide because I want them a half inch apart. So I will just basically butt it up to that one. And then I can remove that. And now I will continue on. Again, I'm going to cut this one. Nope, this one is not long enough, so I'll worry about that. I'll use that one at the end. I'm going to use one as a guide. This time I'm going to set it up the way I need to, basically, and then quickly run my glue over it. That way I'm using that as a guide as well. Press that down. And then I'll again use this as a guide. If you have any extra tape, you can just kind of roll it under. And I will continue this all the way to the end of this page. I'll put it in fast play. Okay, so now I will flip it over and turn around and cut all the excess off. Okay, 
so now we are going to do the exact same thing on the back. You can choose a different color foil if you want. I'm going to use the same gold. I love this, so I'm going to use the same gold. Now look how cute that is. So you've made your own transparency paper essentially. So now what I will do is just take a page from the book and cut my own holes in it. And now we can just place it in our book. And look how cute that is. And what I will most likely do is add a picture on the front and back. So I hope you've enjoyed and you give this a try. Thank I just wanted to show you another one that I did. It's a little bit shorter page. It's um, It fits my binder uh, in the height, but the width I made it about an inch and a half shorter just to give the page a little bit different look. So this I did with the silver foil paper and obviously I cut chevrons. I cut them from my Silhouette Cameo and I just added the holes like I did and just backed it just like I did. So these would be great to use in a planner or any type of smash book or any type of um, book that you have a binder whether it be a scrapbook or not. Let me zoom out just a little and show you what it looks like in here. I'm really finding this clear cardstock fun to work with. If you follow me, I made a card out of it and now these as well. So I look forward to finding new ways to use it. So you can see how adorable that is. I will also be adding a photo to this and I will add it to, to Cut It Home's blog when I'm done. So please stop by Cut It Home's blog and you'll find a link for all the products used and some more photos. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you give this a try.